here's a situation where absolute value inequality show up a lot. When somebody is trying to estimate some value and they've got a real value, and because, as I say, they're trying to estimate this value, they don't really know what the real value is. So they'll say, okay, it's unknown. We'll call it X. And then they have some estimate. They have what some value that they think is approximating the real value. And they want to say in a mathematical kind of way that the estimate is good. Well, the usual sort of formal, fancy sounding terminology for all of this is the margin of error. So the margin of error is a number. And this number is supposed to be telling you how good the estimate is. In particular, the real value should be within the margin of error of the estimate. And this probably sounds like a nightmare sentence. It's, it's not maybe the clearest thing. An example will clarify things right up though. But if we've got this situation, then as an absolute value in a quality, you're saying that X minus the estimate in absolute value is less than the margin of error. And you see stuff like this a lot with opinion pools, for example, or at least you do if the pool is being responsibly reported on. You'll hear things like 75% of Americans support some bill. And then there will be a margin of error because this is only an estimate. They haven't actually asked every single American what they think of the bill. They've asked a few thousand people and used that data to try to interpolate. So again, assuming that the data is being responsibly reported, which it sometimes isn't, there they will give a margin of error. Maybe the margin of error 
is 3%. So maybe only 72% of Americans support the bill, or maybe a few more Americans, maybe 78% of Americans support the bill. But the real value should be within 3% of 75. And the question of how we get these margins of error is a question for a statistics course. It's not something we want to talk about here. What we do want to talk about is taking a statement like this and expressing it as an absolute value inequality. And we've got this kind of formula here, the absolute value of X minus the estimate is less than the margin of error. So if X is the real percentage, Then in this particular case, X minus 75 is less than three, is how you would express this as an absolute value in a quantity. And it could then be solved using the techniques we learned yesterday. Add 75 to both sides. And we think that the real value should be somewhere between 72 and 78. So this is a good thing thing to sort of know and being able to go from something like this to a mathematical statement is something I'd like you to be able to do because it really gets to the heart of what this absolute value inequality stuff is used for. So, 10 minutes, more or less. Does anybody, before I hand out your work for today, your review, does anybody have any questions on this? Then I gave 